Jake Armitage. Looks like we woke up the looks like we woke up the neighbors. We've got ghouls incoming. Hey Flandry, maybe we can use this to our advantage. Oh no! Now the undead are after, are, are joining the fray. I believe I mentioned before, like there's like various types of like like undeath exist in the Shadowrun universe that are all caused by by actually by like various variants of a virus. Let's see here. Now, you, now we know what the police, priest was talking about not being safe in here. At night. <laughs> You'd think if, if, like, actual, if, like, the dead rising from their graves was actually, like, a thing. You'd think there'd be, like, more restrictions on disposal of bodies, you know? Yeah. So, like, I don't understand. Does this just bring anybody back to life? Uh, no, I think you have to be... Ex the body has to have been exposed, I think. But then, like, once they're... I think it is, like, once they're... I don't think it's like they rose up from the dead just now. I think it's, like, people with the ghoul infection, they hang out in cemeteries. It's like, they, you know, for food, to find food. Alright, got the hired mage. Let's check. Fire. Hadouken! Damn it! Ooh, got a hit. Ooh, I'm messing him up good. Oh, he's got a lot of HP though, as you can see there. Alright. Plandry, run! Oh, shit. Oh, and there's another one. Oh, shit. Oh, infection! Minus something. Oh, he's, he's getting gangbanged. Oh, Bob! Bob is damaged! Hang in there, Bob. Ooh, got a critical. I'm gonna try to flee and see if maybe if I get far enough away, the ghoul will tart will focus on attacking that guy. I mean, I don't know how their AI works, if they just go after, like, the nearest thing, or... But... Okay, what's wrong with Jake here? Okay, uh, wounded... Five... Jake... Oh, Jake actually has not hurt that bad. Good thing I got. Good thing I equipped Flandry with those grenades. Yes, indeed. So they're. Oh, oh shit! I forgot. I have like one one point in strength. So this is my throwing radius. You getting a good look at this, Nick? Yeah. I can. I I can. If it was one square shorter, I wouldn't be able to throw the grenade out of its own explosive radius. With my flaccid noodle limbs. Eh, what the hell. Burst fire. Oh yeah, 30. Run away! Jake's got... What is that shit? Looks like the tournament bracket. I have no idea. 
<laughs> it's just a visual representation of his bo. He's been wearing that. He's been wearing that hot leather jacket like nonstop for days. Okay. Starting to smell a bit. And heal. You hear scratch? Oh no, more scratching. Welcome to the crypt. <laughs> Oh, infection! HP minus six per round! Oh, that's brutal. Wait, I think... Did he actually infect my drone? How does that work? Yeah, I, I don't know. Infected you. Because you're connected to the drone. <laughs> it's... A, it, it's... It's a it's a disease that can be transmitted electro transmitted electronically. Yes, an ETD, if you will. <laughs> Damn it! Okay. Now to start shooting up this fucker. Don't make like an excellent plan. Shooting fuckers always is. There we go. Case in point. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Good timing too, because that was her last round. Reload. Flamethrower! Damn it! No! Jake! Ooh, critical! Those dudes are muscular as hell, look at him. Mm-hmm. Oof. Oh man, there's a lot of them. There's that mercenary. I was hoping I could get like the uh, the ghouls to attack him or him to attack them, but it doesn't look like it's really worked. Well, that's problem solved. Oh yeah, Bob is on a killing spree. Yes. All right, Overwatch. And oh, this guy needs to reload. And Overwatch. Yeah, oh, 20 damage. Oh, we oh, we did 38 to that guy in one turn. Nice. Luckily, ghouls don't seem to have very good aim. Well, if I was a shambling corpse, I probably wouldn't either. There we go. There's another one. Oh, she is just a killing machine today. There's another. Do another burst fire. All right, Bob, you're up. It's kind of fitting that he's got that his hit points are low, so low because in the movie, Black Hole Bob actually is like an old banged up piece of shit. Yeah, victorious. New objective: interrogate the leader. find him.
This cemetery is a pretty big place. Yeah. Well, that looks kind of evil. Ooh, something I can take here. Item. Jazz. Someone just left some drugs lying around. <laughs> the hell? Oh, I thought it was music. No. Was send this item music. Send this item to your stash. Someone just left, like, an offering of drugs for the dead, I guess? Smart. Oh, here's something here. What else can we steal from the cemetery? A frag grenade! Uh -huh. What the hell? Nice. Why? Well, it's the old ghosts. Sometimes you need your ghost uncle to throw a grenade. I guess. Oh, here's the leader. Yeah. All right. We have ways of making you talk. You listen as the sounds of gunfire and spell bursts fade away, and the silence of the dead returns to the cemetery. Excellent. The man is beyond healing. As you look down at him, you notice the quality of his suit and shoes. This isn't a runner, and he's not from the streets. Jessica Watts. She hired you. Where can I find her? You get nothing. He convulses and dies. We don't know each other too. We don't know each other too well, but it seems to me that you need to find a better group of people to associate with. Where did those guys come from? You didn't recognize who the elf was? No. Who was she? She's Lynn. Tel she's Lynn Telestrian. Super rich and super into the Universal Brotherhood. She's a major spokesperson for them in Seattle. Universal Brotherhood is this. Uh, like religious movement. Um, and people familiar with the Shadowrun backstory may know what they're certain things about, but well, but you'll, you'll see it soon enough. Hmm. Jake grabs the dead man by the throat. At first it looks like he's trying to kill him again, and then you notice he's feeling for something under the skin. Yep, he's got a Corp ID chip. Oh, there we go. You watch as Jake pulls out his modified PDA and slots the chip. Mr. Wiley here was with Eagle Security. They worked for the Universal Brotherhood. They must have been Lynn Telestrian security detail we just chewed through. If she's, hmm. if she, if she's, if she's protecting Jessica, they'll be inside the Universal Brotherhood. Coyote. If you're going to hit the Universal Brotherhood, I'm coming too. That psycho just admitted she had my friend Sam and a lot of innocent people killed so she could put her dead mother back together. That is just, that is totally slagged up. Plus, she and her elf buddy Lynn just tried to geek me. They're gonna hurt for that. Jake Armitage. Oh. Suit yourself, lady. I was only stopping by to pay my respects to Sam. Merc hit squads, the Universal Brotherhood. Not my scene at the moment. I can call up some of Delilah's runners if you want to go there now. Let me know what you decide. Karma. Uh, eight. All right. Nice. Okay, so our next step will be the uh, Universal Brotherhood. Just a, you know, friendly religious movement that I'm sure has nothing unwholesome or no horrible secrets. They're going to give us cookies, right? Yeah, probably. And those cookies won't have anything horrifying and, you know, unholy in them. Cookies and Kool-Aid. That's what that's... Nor will the Kool-Aid... <laughs> okay, I'm laying it on a little... I'm laying it on a bit thick. The, 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 the Brotherhood are not nice guys, <laughs> suffice to say. Well, I mean, you may have noticed, considering they just sent a death squad after me. 